off the world number one there, maintain her cool. That final arrow almost dead center of the time. Uh -huh. It sure is. So it will be a Jensen Lopez final. And Sonnenstein versus Postan. An interesting about uh, the bronze final match between uh, Sonnenstein and Postan. It will be a rematch of the semi final in Odense. And of course, the rematch of the gold medal match in Berlin. Wow, what a match that was. So a little pause in proceedings while the cheerleaders entertain the crowd. A little chance for the archers behind the scenes to take a breather. Sonnison does have another shot at gold in the mixed team event, which will be our last match of the morning session. With Stefan Hansen. Exactly, he'll be shooting later on for gold in the men's individual competition. Just proving and, how strong he is. And there is now the the from Turkey. He will be in the men's competition later on this afternoon. That's right, and uh, I was really impressed with him in Berlin, actually, defeating Hansen in that gold medal match in the final stage. He shot absolutely brilliantly against the world number one, so that's a tasty little potential match-up for this afternoon. But it's now time to focus on the bronze medal match as the judge and coaches return to the field. Yeah, it'll be Sarah Sonicson versus Yusim Bostan for bronze. Been a, been a quite a surprise for Sarah Sonicson to be in the bronze medal match, but she, she should have been in the gold medal match. Absolutely, she defeated Marcella Tognoli in the first round and lost to Tanya Jensen in the semi finals. Just on the shoot up, which you've just seen. back onto the field of play and having to raise her game after the disappointment of that semi-final defeat to Jensen. This will be a test of her ability and her mental toughness to see if she can come through this match now against Bostan of Turkey. She'll be shooting on target number one again. Maybe that will be a slight advantage to shoot straight back into the target that she was using in the last match but you can see that not the smile that you're accustomed to see on the face of Sarah Sonnenson looking down at the ground politely acknowledging the crowd she knows that a chance has slipped away here and that is what will characterize this match with Bostan who will be very very happy to be in with a chance of a medal and so you might think that she's got a little bit more, more momentum going into this match Andrew yeah. It could be Boston with another upset. Yeah, Sarah Sonicson defeated Marcella Tonioli this morning, 142 to 141, then lost to um, Tanya Jensen. And now here's Sushi Boston, right into the world. She defeated Sarah Priels, 143 to 139, but then lost in the shootout to Sarah Lopez. By the way, Sushi Boston lost to Bronze Mill last year to Crystal Garvin. That's right, it's uh, another bronze medal match appearance for Bostan. Two World Cup final appearances for the Turkish archer and yeah. two shots at the bronze medal. She couldn't quite make it last year in Odense, but uh, got a chance to do it again here. Yeah, and this is a rematch of the 2016 World Cup uh, semi-final and also the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup in uh, Berlin for the gold final. So Yusin Bostan doesn't want to miss out on the, on the bronze medal again, right? Absolutely, and she'll be shooting first in this match on target two. With a 10. Perfect opening. Good start. X, dead center. Wonderful shot. 
this might be a situation where Solinson feels she just has to get this job done now. Shrug off the disappointment of the last match. Ten. Two in a row for Yashin Bostan. Great shooting. Stack score. Leave on mid. Nine. So she's a point behind. Uncharacteristic of Sarah Sonicson. Bostan went nine arrows straight with tens in her Seven first match. With three tens to start the match. Wow. Perfect score. Stack score. Lee more mid. Yep. Okay, so it's a one point game. Oh, Bostan. 29 to 30. Down to Martin Damsbo, Sonic Simpson coach here in the corner to try to raise her game. Serious for the Danes, but actually smiles for the Turkish team there, as you see Bostan looking very, very relaxed. Damsbo smiling and he'll be trying to take some of the tension out of the shoulders of Sarah Sonicson. say to them, you've got this, been here before, you know how to win. Leave the bad shots and the bad matches behind you, focus on what's in front, and that's what she needs to do. She will shoot first in this second end on target number one. Andrew, in these early exchanges, do you think it will be Bostan or Sonicson who takes the bronze? Hopefully, hopefully um, Sarah Sonicson, if she comes back, she will be shooting first in this match. Let's find out. Oh, you can feel the wind start to pick up here. Absolutely, it's a huge Two, blast of wind that six, rocks our commentary ten, position. Can't do what it's doing to Sonicson on the line. Still as a statue and a brilliant nine under those conditions. Nine. Very good shot there. Very long hold. Awesome. Worth it though. On the line between nine and ten. So Four perfect arrows for the Turkish archer. Yeah, she has not missed yet. Eight. Uncharacteristic shot for Sonicson. An eight. That opens the door for Yashin Bostan. Certainly does. And she walks right through it with another ten. Five in a row. Stack score. Limo mid. Mid need on top. 26 for Sonicson with those three arrows. 55 points. Bostan, the chance to open up a massive lead here now. Can she make it six in a row? Right on the line. I think that's touching. I think that's another 10, Andrew. They are, and they can see it more clearly than we can with the magnification they've got on their screen. So, yeah, they have, and uh, we'll need to watch that. The uh, Turkish coach there having a look with his spotting scope. He'll know what he thinks it is. I'm pretty sure that we'll see that go to a 10. And see Bostan on a perfect 60 so far, which would be huge. And you see Bostan does not. Wow. It didn't look like that for me, did it? Yeah. So 59 for Yashin Bostan. So that's three hands at five. Four points the lead for Sonicson. She's come back from worse. But this is a test. Remember, she had nine straight tens in the finals. The wind gusting again, but it's a ten. Ten for Sonicson. That gives a point back. It's a three-point lead. Oh, she may have given it back, doesn't she? Looking inconsistent with her arrows, the world number one. Oh, it's a nine still, That's a three point lead. Oh, good ten for Sonic 
put a little bit of pressure on Yushin Bostan. Yeah, she needs a 10 to stay three ahead. An eight to give her the lead. Ten. It's a 10, yeah. just on the X-ray. It's a nearly dead center with that shot. Great shot from Bostan. I mean, you've got the world number one breathing down your neck. You know you've got a bit of a lead, but you want to maintain it as much as you can. And after three ends, it is Bostan of Turkey on 87 points, three ahead of the world number one, who has 84. Yes. Be watching a big surprise. Yeah, another surprise. I, mean, we, I think we were taken by surprise in the last match where Jensen emerged victorious. A lot of people expecting Sonicson to win that match, but uh, she didn't, ending her hopes of a gold medal here. But. Uh, Interestingly, Bostan scoring very consistently also has the highest score out of these two archers across the matches that we've seen this morning, 145 points. And you think she's going to need all of those sorts of points. We'll see as we find out. Oh, a 10 for Sonicson. There was five. She's right back in it. So she needs a 10. Ooh. Oh, she gives one back, so the lead is down to two. Stack score, full power. Abak met the hail line. Nine. Oh, she, she didn't like that shot. Each time you think Sonnetson is building some momentum. And the next shot is not quite Ooh. as good as the one before. Oh, the lead stays at two with four hours remaining. Stack score, Limon met, Massa two. X. Yes. yes. That's what she needed. So that puts a lot of pressure on your simple stand. So an eight to say level, a nine will keep the lead. A ten will give the lead to two. Oh my goodness! It's a one point game! Yeah, Bostan knows that she's given up quite an advantage. She still has one point on Sonicson, but with three arrows remaining, the Danish archer creeping slowly, inexorably, perhaps inevitably, towards victory in this match. And actually, Bostan of Turkey now needs to really, really dig deep to maintain her lead if she's going to come away with a bronze medal here. Bostan maybe will in the back of her mind have last year's match where she lost out in the bronze medal match and emerged with fourth. She doesn't want that to happen to her. Again. Sonicson, who's been behind in this match for most of it, will shoot first again on target number one. A possible advantage to her to build. Whereas Bostan will have to chase. No. No. Not the start she wanted, though. Nope. That opens the door wide. What price a 10 here for Bostan? Oh, she finds it. Yes. <laughs> Back to two. Two point eight with two hours to go. Stack score. Hail in the middle. Yep, X. Yep, it's a 10 for. So, an eight to keep it level. So one more, it's a nine, the lead's back to one. Oh. One hour to go, one point difference. Sonics must land a ten here, you think? She and does. she does, yeah. The door is wide open, a ten to win for Yushin Bostan. She came fourth last year in Odense, and she came third in Rome! Bostan wins bronze! A 10 with her final arrow, and an embrace with her coach for Yeshin Bostan of Turkey. As you said, Andrew, a fourth place in Odense last year, and now she's gone one better. She will have a medal round her neck here in Rome. She embraces Sarah Sonicson, who will be disappointed with the end of her World Cup season. But Yeshin Bostan. This year, Sarah Sonicson. Yeshin Bostan takes the bronze medal here in Rome in the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. Unbelievable.
Congratulations to Team Wasan. Yeah, that was a remarkable victory and one that Sarah Sonnison will want to forget but also want to learn from because she was clearly very disappointed at the beginning of that match. You could see it on her face as she stood on the shooting line waiting to begin. She was carrying with her the disappointment of losing to Jensen in the semi-finals and she just couldn't really hook two brilliant arrows together, could she?